Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. Before we begin, let's make sure that we are prepared. We have all the necessary items that we need to complete this task. Please make sure that you have your pencil, your glue stick, your scissors, your journal, your Ziploc bag, and make sure you have your, your spelling words for this week. If you do not have them, please pause the video and go get them right now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, begin. Let's take a look at this week's spelling words. This is sort 51 and it deals with comparatives. In words that compare, they end in ER and EST. There are your words. Aren't they just beautiful? Nice. Okay, let's grab your scissors and let's begin cutting. Okay, we've cut out our words. We're ready to begin. As always, we take a moment and glue in our heading. So we're going to beat across that. Let's get that pasted at the top. By doing so, it keeps us organized. We know what this sort is. All right, next let's go ahead and write in our exemplars. So at the top, let's go ahead and write in ER, okay. and then IER. And then we have, let's go down, drop down a ways, and let's go EST. And let's do, let's write in e IEST. Okay, let's take a, a moment and talk about ER versus EST. Okay, when we're, when we're comparing two things, we're going to use um, ER and I E R. When we're dealing with three or more things that we're comparing, we're going to use E S T or I E S T. So to help us remember that, I'm going to write in two. That means we're going to compare two things. And down below, right above the exemplars, I'm going to write three plus. That's going to let me know that I'm going to be comparing three or more. The plus means more or more items that I'm comparing. So once again, ER and IER, we're comparing how many things? Two. And when we're comparing three or more items or things, we're going to use EST or IEST. Let's go ahead and bring in some of our, ex our word chips and see which um, exemplar they'll fall under, which ones are going to fit under. Our first one is braver, and it looks like it's going to end in ER. Our base word is brave, and we're going to, it's going to end in ER, isn't it? Okay. And this would be like, um, the lion is braver than the mouse. Okay, we're comparing how many things? The lion and the mouse, that's two. So, there we go, we're going to use braver, and it ends in ER. All right, here we have the word happier, and happier is H-A-P-P. -P. I'm going to stop right there because the base word is happy, but it's happier, so we need to remember that words that end in Y, we're going to drop the Y, so we're going to get rid of that Y, right, and we're going to add I-E-R. And again, we're still comparing two things. We might um, say that Billy is happier than Teddy. Okay, so how many, how many people are we comparing? Two. And the word is happy. The base word's happy, right? So we need to remember to drop that Y and add I-E-R. All right. Let's go down to some, some words that will require EST. And again, these are words that um, are comparing three or more things. Okay, so here we have bravest, kind of like up here we have braver, we're comparing two, but this is bravest. So I'm going to write B-R-A-V, and then we're going to drop the E and add E-S-T. Okay, and we might say that the lion is the bravest of them all. And of them all means that there are three or more things being compared. Okay. 
So again, on, on this one, we drop the E and add EST. And here we have happiest. So I'm going to write H-A-P-P. -P. And again, base word is Y, but we're going to drop the Y and add I-E-S-T. And we might have a sentence like, Billy is the happiest, Billy is the happiest of them all. And it might be a room of five or six or ten or twenty, more than, more than two, right? So when there's more than two, like three or more, then we have to use EST at the end. All right. Okay, well, pretty simple, pretty easy. Again, the, the thing that we have to remember is that when we compare two items or two people, we use ER or IER. And it's IER when the base word has a Y at the end. Remember, we drop the Y and add IER. And down below, when we're comparing, th comparing three or more items or things or people, um, we use EST, or in this case, when the word ends in Y, we drop the Y and add I and then EST. Okay, have some fun with the rest of the sort. Go. Okay, the second part of tonight's homework is I'd like you to do a lay and say. And with the lay and say, you're going to write it as well. And you're going to follow the, the same format where you have your ER, your IER, exemplars, and then drop down like we did before. And you're going to do your EST along with your IEST. Okay. Remember, Monday night's homework. I'm having you do it. I'm having you do it twice so that you can get off to a good start, get familiar with the words, how they work, all that kind of good stuff. All right. I'll be looking for again the video part portion and then the land save for Monday night's homework. Do a good job. Get her done. And remember that tonight you're not going to do vocab, but you'll do that tomorrow night or Tuesday night. Will be day one for vocab. All right. Get her done. And again, when we do this, we become not only better spellers, but readers and writers as well. Okay?